Hello, I'm Callie Lichter. More than 1,300 students are graduating from Ivy Tech Community College today. Even if they may seem daunting or intimidating, try to take that leap of faith because you don't know where it takes you. This ceremony at the IU Auditorium will mark the end of Chancellor Eric Coyne's first year. Graduates earning associates and short-term certificates are from many programs. Some are high schoolers, local employees, veterans, accelerated students, and transfer students. More than 1,700 degrees and certificates will be awarded. Farmers' outlooks on the ag economy dropped in April, according to the Ag Economy Barometer. If you look at it from a longer-term historical perspective, 23 was still a re reasonably good year. 24 is going to be a much, much tougher year for most ag producers, especially crop producers here in the Corn Belt. The index fell 15 points, the weakest reading of the barometer since June of 2022. Mintert says many farmers are concerned about income levels in 2024. The April survey also asked farmers if they had been approached by solar panel developers about leasing their land. And a group of states co-led by Indiana Attorney General Todd Rakita is suing the Environmental Protection Agency over its recent carbon rule. The EPA rule would require many new gas and existing coal plants to either eliminate or capture 90 percent of their carbon emissions by 2032 or leave. Attorney General Todd Rakita said these new rules could decrease reliable energy sources and increase energy bill prices for Hoosiers. Now let's take a look at the weather. Tonight we're going to see partly cloudy skies with a low of 52 degrees. And looking ahead towards our five-day forecast, we're going to see some showers over the next five days, but sunny skies on Sunday. For more local news, go to WTIUnews.org and catch Indiana News Desk Fridays at 6.